This is an unforced error. You're on balance, you have time, and you simply miss the tennis ball. At the 2023 US Open, which is on at the time of this filming, in the men's first round, over 30% of points ended in this manner. Professionals, they do this for a living. Tennis is simply a high fail rate sport. Is it any wonder pushers do so well? They get something that you don't. Now, I'm not encouraging being a pusher, but in this video, I'm gonna show you a few very important ways to miss less and win more tennis matches. The first one, and if you've been subscribed to my channel for any amount of time, you know I'm big on this, fundamentals first. This is the biggest influence on if you're gonna be consistent and can just hit the ball in the court. On the ground strokes, for example, do you understand ball striking? Do you have a tracking motion with your racket? Do you have a safety zone that allows you to be late or a little early and still make the ball in? Volley technique is one of the worst instructed shots in my opinion. Do you understand getting the racket face flatter and coming from the shoulder that requires less timing and allows you to close the net better? The serve, do you understand the most important principle of creating forward rotation over your head? Simply put, just don't accept mediocrity. If you haven't had a backhand in five years, you need to fire that coach. Or at least you need to figure it out. Get online, there's no reason you can't swing fast and consistently hit a ball in a tennis court. If you can't, look at your strokes, don't be afraid to take a step back, make some adjustments, and make the corrections. Okay, now when we're talking tactically, what's your mentality? If you really knew how few winners were hitting tennis, especially at lower level tennis, because the ball speed hasn't reached a critical mass where your opponent can't run as fast to get the ball anyway. So generally speaking, and really this goes to the highest levels, your opponent has very little to do with your tennis match. Don't take your opponent's positioning into consideration as much when hitting the ball. So don't commit what I call opponent avoidance errors. So my opponent's right here, so I'll go a little bit more over here. Well, unfortunately, a little bit more over there is out. So just hit to the safe target that you know you can make and be consistent with. Now look, there's always exceptions to the rules. This just assumes you're playing someone of similar ability level. In a lot of cases, I'll get someone who's playing a much stronger player and they'll hit a rally ball down the middle of the court and the opposing player hits a winner on them from behind the baseline and they look at me and they say, well, see coach, I hit the ball to him, that's why I lost. And then they go out in the match and they proceed to try to hit further from their opponent and then make more errors. But you didn't lose because you hit the ball to your opponent. You lost because you hit a weak ball to your opponent. Ball striking and these basic fundamentals, being able to hit a bigger ball, recover faster, return a bigger ball, into it movement earlier, that's really the secret to moving up in levels and to becoming, becoming a bigger player. So this all has to be taken with a grain of salt, but if you really want to improve your tennis game, try to find ways to reduce unforced errors, but always remember, you're constantly trying to improve your ball striking, hit a better ball. Also, the majority of what you train is gonna kind of be your default shot selection. That should be very high percentage stuff. So for example, you should be training cross court forehands a lot. You should always just default to hitting the ball cross court. We know the net's lower. We know the court's four and a half feet longer cross court. Plus, you're gonna be late more than you, you're gonna be early. So when you do accidentally catch that ball late and hit the winner up the line, pump your fist like you earned it, cause you did. Okay, this is a big one. Try to get comfortable up at the net. Now I know what you're thinking, what does being comfortable at the net have to do with consistency? Well, it all relates to the midcourt. If you're comfortable at the net, you're willing to play disciplined midcourt balls. In other words, don't try to go for winners or inopportune drop shots on approach shots, balls that really shouldn't be hit for winners. Lower balls, maybe you're running to get to them. If you're comfortable at the net, you're gonna be willing to play that high percentage approach shot deep, come into position, and then finish balls at the net. Really the only place you should be hitting clean winners. Thanks again for watching. If you like the content, please help me help you. Like, share, comment down below, and I'll see you next time.